an elimination game, if you will. This thing's must win. Yeah, both teams definitely need a win, but because we talked about January, how huge it is to get that O off your record. And we will watch this backcourt matchup. And the two high-scoring guards for both clubs. And it is an early a Louisville turnover. And those are the things, Ryan, that have plagued this Louisville team, is that those early turnovers, because you're taking possessions away, and for a team that sometimes struggles to score, you have to be able to get to your offense. 15 in blue is the freshman low, thrusted into the starting lineup for the first time this season. Hinson for three, in and out, no good. And how about Diaz Graham with an offensive rebound, the seven-footer inside. It's Austin for three. No good. Another offensive rebound and good. And we talked about Henson for a guy that's been struggling. You see the ball going to the basket. It's always good to get some easy ones. Get that layup going, and it allows you to build up a little confidence early. And it is another Louisville turnover. Austin with the two-hand slammer. And Austin's one of those guys that can drift out in the three, but you see him get that steal. Go up high for it. Kenny Payne doesn't like what he sees from his Cardinal team. One minute and three seconds into the game, and we have a Louisville timeout. Well, here's the thing. Is, uh, it's basically the energy that they're showing because, again, for Pitt, they come out with that sense of energy. They're hitting the offensive glass. And then when you look also at the early turnovers, it's not a good sign for, for Louisville's team. Brian, we're talking about 63 seconds in. What message can Kenny Payne possibly send to his team in 63 seconds into the game? Well, to settle down, because obviously you hear the chatter that's going around the fact that they have not had an ACC victory. You want your young backcourt to be able to make sure that you're running your offense, and then you have to limit them. This Pitt team is one of the best in the league in offensive rebounding. So two possessions, uh, two turnovers for Louisville. Jovanovic. Is a Pittsburgh turnover. Good defensive sequence by Louisville. And again, for Kenny Payne, you want to be able to limit Pitt for touching the paint because, again, this is a team that shoots a lot of threes, but in order to do that, you got to have the breakdowns and force the help. Now, Pittsburgh does lead the ACC in rebounding and rebounding margin. Johnson for three. Austin skies for the rebound, and here comes Carrington. He's fun to watch with the basketball. Little slip screen, and Austin with four quickies. And one of the things we've talked about, Bob Carrington, is his scoring, but his vision and how he's able to get everyone involved. Again, you see how he's able to thread the needle early on that. Clark into the paint, and Jovanovic draws the foul. And Carrington, as I said, triple-double in his very first game. I think everyone thought he would be good, but how about this good? Well, you see the dime he drops off to a slashing Austin. Austin does a great job of being able to finish around the rim. But then Carrington, no one thought that he would be this good and have an early impact as he has already. Jovanovic just two free throws on the entire season. He is now two of three from the charity stripe. And Kenny Payne will go to his bench early as Caleb Glenn will be coming into the ball game. Jovanovic makes a pair. And Jovanovic will take a quick seat and get a message from Coach Payne. Caleb Glenn was one of the players that Kenny Payne talked about. He thought that could be a player that could impact this game, especially with the week of practice that he's had. Pitt will shoot the three, as many as 30 a game, but both all baskets have come inside today. And it's another pit turnover. Here comes Sky Clark the other way. And nearly a third Cardinal turnover. Clark. 
Johnson with a fadeaway. Got it. Nice shot by Johnson. And that started by Clark with the penetration. You force Pitt to have to converge and allows Johnson to be able to touch the paint. Nice shot. Acrobatic move. So since that timeout, four straight for Louisville. Message received by the Cardinals. Diaz Graham thinks about the three. And how about the start from Zach Austin? And Austin's that guy is like, you know, catch me outside because I'm feeling it already. Seven points. He's been the, the, the lone offensive start for, for Pitt right now. He averages seven a game. <laughs> James drives the athletic guard off the glass and in. And a lot to like about Mike James. And here's the thing about this pit defense is that they're going to limit you on the perimeter. Louisville's doing a better job since that timeout, timeout of being able to hunt the paint and get to the cup. Zach Austin, the transfer from high point. Seven quick ones for the Panthers. Nearly, I said, almost made it ten. Wide open three. Well, the Panthers, we know they will fire it up from behind the arc. Already a handful of threes. This one finds nothing but the bottom. Next, hammering it home. It's a high-octane showdown in Winston-Salem. Outlet for Wooga, look out! When Wooga Poplar in Miami battle Hunter Salas and Wake Forest. Nothing but the bottom of the net. CW Courtside Saturday, Miami, Wake Forest. Coming up next. I can do this. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. My arms were bleeding, my hands were bleeding. It was pretty scary. My employer was not very sympathetic to my injury. My name is Trina, and I was seriously hurt on the job. DeMeo Law Offices really helped me, and it was good to have someone on my side and who knew all the steps. And so then I could anticipate what the next move was. So then I could focus more energy I'm getting well. DeMeo Law Offices took the stress away. Now I can breathe again. If you've been hurt on the job, call DeMeo Law Offices. It won't cost you anything to see if we can help. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. Any two, just five dollars. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. These days, it seems like we are surrounded by chaos. Too many distractions. Yes, our feeds constantly updated. Our phones endlessly trying to alert. Too many opinions. Not enough facts. Too much useless news. But we strip away all the noise. We tell the stories worth telling. We bring clarity to the complex so that it all comes in to focus. WCCB News at 10. We're just what you need. ACC Basketball on the CW is brought to you by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. And how about the offensive spark for the Panthers and head coach Capel from Zach Austin. He averages seven a game. He has seven in the first four minutes. Ryan, I know your choice of drink, you know, in the summertime might be a seven and seven, but how about <laughs> Zach Austin starting off today? You talk about only seven points a game, but I love his energy, and they've done a good job of being able to get him started. The Panthers have already fired up four threes. Make it five. Diaz Graham front rims it, and here come the cards. Clark and the height from Carrington able to save it. Diaz Graham up ahead, throws it away. Man, Diaz Graham couldn't get that out to Henson. But here's the thing when I look for Louisville, Ryan, is the fact that this is a team that's running their offense and they're trying to get into the gaps. We talked about the fact that with Pitt, they're going to limit you for what you want to do on the perimeter, but Kenny Payne has them coming out. Focus on shifting the Pitt defense and trying to get into those gaps. Federico, Federico, the junior from Helsinki, Finland, into the game for the Panthers. 
Glenn thought about three. Clark takes three. And Lowe looks to push the other way. Louisville down to seven scholarship players. We'll get into that in a minute. Henson for three. Book it all net. And those are the looks that you want to get for Henson. You saw Lowe break down the defense. You pass up a good shot for a better shot. Henson's off to a good shot because it, a, a good start because of his ability to knock down some early shots. Uh, look out if Henson starts to heat up. And an offensive foul on, on Mike James. In his first, actually, and they will tap Caleb Glenn with his first personal. Yeah, Caleb Glenn got a little anxious over there trying to set that screen for Clark. You know, those are those turnovers that frustrate coaches because what it does is it takes the possibility of a shot possession right now but you got to be happy if you're Kenny Payne that you're able to at least run your offense and Curtis Williams number one in white into the game for Louisville Carrington jacks a three. Oh, it is on fire yeah that's one of the things again at 6-5 can have the switch can get his shot I love how Buck Carrington has been able to balance getting everyone going and getting his offense as well Pittsburgh shooting woes have led to the 0-3 starting ACC play. And how about Williams off the bench and into the scoring book? Yeah, well, it comes right. Williams comes right in. And Louisville doing a better job. And you see them running their offense. Get some things to go. You see Bob Carrington losing his shoes. I always have to get it my, my, my eighth grader. My daughter <laughs> does not tie her shoes. And it's interesting. You see a lot of the players these days, they don't really tighten those shoes. And you see them losing more often than not. How do you play without tying your shoes? I mean, you know what? My shoes are not tied right now, so I'm hoping they don't <laughs> slip off during the game. And Pitt loves to shoot it from behind the arc. Oh, Henson thought about it from the logo. Shot clock at 10, low into the lane, and an instant presence from Williams off the bench. James in the open court with the glass and in. That's where you get going when you turn good defense into offense. Louisville getting a stop, getting out in transition. You see them giving Pitt different looks. Kenny Payne talked about with them having a short rotation. They'll mix up the man in the zone. And playing a little zone, Carrington can hit. Another offensive rebound for the Panthers. Hits it into the lane, throws it off. Johnson one on three. Thinks better of it. Lane and an unbelievable block from Federico. Excuse me, Austin. Austin at the other end. Oh, he cannot and miss. Austin is filling it. Ryan comes up with a big block on one end. Zach and then Austin with ten. The Winston-Salem transfer from High Point, Zach Austin, with 10 in the first in seven minutes of the contest. And that will be a foul on Federico. So Austin doing it at both ends. Defense leads to offense. Yeah, you see Austin on the recover with the big block. And then a lot of times when you trail the offense, you see right there on the break, Austin being able to square it up. Knocked down that three. It was like, hey, do you see me? If you don't feel me, I'm in a nice little groove. Well, what a developing story. Averaging seven points a game, ten points in the first ten minutes. But Austin you know, picks up the hand check foul there. Now on 55 seconds, Austin. We talked about both teams and how desperately they need this win, Ryan. Both teams coming out with the energy, but it's Pitt that it seems like they've been able to do a better job of being able to score. Louisville's doing better as far as putting the ball on the floor, but it's the three-point shooting that seemed to be the difference in this game. Brian, obviously you were a great, great all-time shooter at Georgia Tech and into the NBA and playing professionally. Pitt shoots 30 a game. 
33s a game. They fancy themselves as a really good shooting team, but they haven't fallen the last couple of games. Was it just a matter of time as a shooter was that it, they were going to start to go in? Well, here's the thing. You you heard Jeff Capel talk about them getting inward, and sometimes you get a little frustrated and you get your head down when shots don't go. You have to stay with what you're doing and believe, and it's the quality of shot that you see Pitt getting in this first half, touching the paint and passing, making the extra pass that you just see Austin getting it over to Diaz Graham. Now the Panthers not shy from behind the arc. Louisville struggling on the offensive end. Side, Huntley Hatfield. And what a dime by Clark because when he did, he was able to pull two guys. You saw Huntley being able to draw, get down low, dive it off to him. And again, Louisville, even though they're trailing in this game, much better at being able to attack the paint. And the quality of shots are a lot better than what they've gotten the last two games. Austin. In and out. Boy, he is feeling it. He looked at his hand, was like, you know, I expected that would go. That's how when you're feeling hot. Glenn thinks about it, not really his game, and then has it stripped another Cardinal turnover. Diaz Graham gives it right back. Williams in the open court. Oh, nice! You <laughs> see Williams come there on the break and then throws around his back. And again, one of the differences for Louisville in the first half is their ability to be able to turn good defense into offense. And you, know, you see this Louisville crowd showing their life. Again, Louisville doing a good job of being able to get the fan base involved. Yeah, coming to their feet in the up center. Dad, you okay? It's our phone bill. We pay for things that we don't need. Loaded bundles, the reckless spending. No more. That's a bit dramatic. A better plan is Verizon. Starts at $25 a line. Did you say $25 a line? And save big on things we love, like Netflix and Max. Oh, that's awesome. Spaghetti night. Dinner in 30. Oh, happy day. A better plan to save is Verizon. It starts at $25 per line guaranteed for three years. And get both Netflix and Max for just $10 per month. Only on Verizon. Depend keeps you drier than ever. So you can say yes to more than ever. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Depend. The only thing stronger than us is you. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis takes you off course, put it in check with Rinvoke, a once daily pill. When I wanted to see results fast, Rinvoke delivered rapid symptom relief and helped leave bathroom urgency behind. Check. When UC tried to slow me down, I got lasting steroid free remission with Rinvoke. Check. And when UC caused damage, Rinvoke came through by visibly repairing my colon lining. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free remission. And a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how Abby can help you save. Oh, I'll have another. Make it a double. Dad, Mom thinks she's at a resort again. Yeah, she told me. When you'd rather not resort to a virtual resort. This is much better in real life. It matters where you stay. Looking good, babe. Hilton for the stay. Ryan Burr back with Brian Oliver. Zach Austin did not score against North Carolina. He only took two shots. Against Syracuse, nine points, was three for three from behind the arc. He's looked really aggressive. And Ryan, looks like he came in this game. Understand, I got to get a little get back. We wondered if not having Ishmael Leg at those 12 points, how would it impact this pit team? But right now, it's been Zach Austin in this first half that's basically given Jeff Capel that shot in the arm of offense that they really needed. Uh, he did cut his hand there. That is what uh, caused the stop and the action to attend to that right hand. A uh, trainer is going to uh, stop the bleeding, probably put some kind of wrap on it, but uh, that might be the only thing that slows down Zach Austin. And, and don't think that because he's feeling it, he's not anxious to get back into the game because when you get in the groove, you want to be able to get back in the game. You don't want to take a chance and losing whatever momentum you've already established. William Jeffress into the game for the Panthers. 
the Erie McDowell product. And he draws the personal foul on Jovanovic. Crowd one and a traveling. Yeah, I thought Jovanovic was able to stay there. And that last little push right, that little nudge at the end. He played solid defense for the most part, but Kenny Payne has talked about the fact that you want to stay in vertical. You don't want to give, give them uh, extra opportunities. I thought that Jovanovic did a solid job that last time on D. Coach Payne trying to get his team to fight, fight, fight. A young team has to learn how to scratch and claw every second of every game. Oh, low from distance. Jalen Lowe, I thought that he's come out and he's let the game come to him. He's been able to get everyone else going. He said last time, Karen to penetrates a little bit. It gets him an uncontested three. Pit five of 12 from behind the arc. And Jovanovic loses it low to the ground. Digs out another loose ball. Great inside, outside, inside, Federico, oh, Federico. Beautiful high-low. You see Diaz Graham be able to get the ball over to Federico. That play basically was started with shifting the defense and a nice dive cut. So just like that, five quickies from the Panthers. And what was a four-point lead in a pit timeout, it balloons that quick, Brian. Here's the thing, Pitt is playing as well as they can on both ends of the floor. If you're Louisville, stick with the script. Don't get impatient. Shot clock at one. Air ball. Does Jovanovic have to shoot it? I would have shot, that's what I was thinking about. He made the tip right there. I like the kick out, but he could have gone up and because I'd maybe draw the foul right there. But again, we always talk about how good this pit team is on their rotations. They're doing a solid job of forcing Louisville to get to the second and third options. Plus he finds Huntley Hatfield, who has to jack a three with one on the shot clock. Now four different Panthers have knocked down a three-pointer here in the first 10 minutes. I thought it interesting. We talked with Jeff Cape. We talked about how his team had been knocked back a little bit with the two losses, Syracuse and, and North Carolina. But offensively, they've been able to get whatever they wanted. You see the little runner that couldn't go by Lowe. And Jalen Lowe with the floater. But it will be a foul underneath on Huntley Hatfield. And that will be his second, and he'll have to head to have a seat next to Coach Payne. Yeah, that's a big blow for, for Louisville again, because again, with a short rotation, Huntley Hatfield is there big, and that forces Louisville to have to go small now. A really small. And Diaz Graham. Jeffress. Offensive rebounding. It's always a story for Pitt. Great pass oh, from Johnson. Man. Talking about a dime. How about Johnson threading the needle? How did he see him, Brian? Man, talking about it, getting the, the thread through the needle. That's a wonderful pass and a better finish. Lead is seven. Low. Carrington for three. And Johnson looks to come the other way. Another look. Well, we've talked about the fact that for Louisville, how they get in transition. How about that thread the needle from Johnson to Glenn for the finish? And if you're Kenny Payne, this is what you want to do. You want to get out, get those easy ones to go. Because, again, for a team that's trying to find a win, Ryan, getting that confidence and getting this crowd before uh, behind you is, is a must. And a great matchup here of young guards. Oh, he's got a great mid-range game. And that's nice because, again, you get a paint touch and get to Diz Graham, uh, Graham, force the defense to help a little bit, and then you get a little mid-range jumper. Now, the Panthers have not seen the ball go through the net at this rate in some kind of time. Williams, in and out. Henson thinks about it. And Carrington will reset things. Oh, wow. I 
thought Henson may have traveled before the bump. What'd you think? And we'll get a look at that when we come back. Right now, it is all Panthers by nine on the CW. Dad, I'm a cop. Yeah, I'm a cop. You have a badge? Not yet. Not ever. We're not partners. She's a con artist. Her particular skill set can be helpful to us. You gotta be kidding me. You have a driver's license, right? Of course. I have nine. Closing cases get you one step closer to getting back on the squad and keeping you out of prison. This is exciting. Like sex on the back of a motorcycle. So I've heard. Wild Cards. Series premiere January 17th. Stream free next day on The CW. This here at the Downer Law Firm, we have over 40 years of experience handling personal injury claims such as car accidents, truck accidents, workers' compensation, even wrongful death. So if you're injured, give us a call. We've got you covered. The landscape of fitness was bleak. Toxic instructors, shady scammers. If this boat bakes, I'm a shot. Mother Fitness was angry. Megan the Stallion. Hello, my hot girl. Enough of this toxic nastiness. Cute. So she took her hotties to the judgment free zone. Welcome to Planet Fitness, where everybody can work out in their own way. Listen to Mother Fitness. Join for 24 cents down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends Friday, January 12th. Where are my legs? This <laughs> is how it feels to live blissfully, to live mindfully. When you have a health partner who doesn't just treat part of you, they care for all of you. That's why more people prefer Atrium Health, because unrivaled care is easier, more accessible, and more complete than ever before, so that you can enjoy more of the moments you love. That's what it means to live wonderfully, to live joyfully, to live fully. Here at the Downer Law Firm, we have over 40 years of experience handling personal injury claims such as car accidents, truck accidents, workers' compensation, even wrongful death. So if you're injured, give us a call. We've got you covered. Well, let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary presented by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. Uh, Brian, I get the idea this would be an offense you'd like to play in. The Panthers on pace, forget this, 53-point attempts. Oh, without a doubt, because, again, you know, it's the, it's the quality of shots that they're getting, Ryan, because, again, when people think about them throwing them shots, it's how they're getting these threes. They've been doing a good job of being able to balance transition threes, touch the paint, making the extra pass. I love the fact that Jeff Capel's squad passes up good shots for better shots, and it's the quality of shots that they're getting. I think there's such a thing you could draw a line in the sand of the Steph Curry era and the three-point shot. The idea of a team shooting 53s in a game seems absurd, but everyone can shoot from behind the arc now. Well, this is a point of emphasis on all levels of the game because what's a lost art is the mid-range because now what you're looking at is that the analytics say that you go and put up the volume of threes, and when you see with this pit team, that's what they're doing. They get the volume up, but it's how they're getting the threes. Well, this is one of the enigmas for the Panthers is uh, Henson from the free throw line, a great three-point shooter, obviously, just 64%. He's really struggled from the charity stripe. He makes his first. Well, and, and here's the thing is that a, as a guy that's trying to get off the struggle bus, you want to be able to get those easy ones. You know, right now he's been able to find the basket, but then getting to the free throw line, and if you watch him in his rhythm, he stays consistent in that and gets a chance to knock down all three. For me as a shooter, that's going to give me more confidence with knocking down shots the more I see that ball go in. And the lead goes from 4 to 12 in a heartbeat. Well, here's Louisville. They've got to continue to stick with their offense. You want to get into those gaps, make those extra passes, and keep touching. As you see, nice shot down by Johnson. But that was set up by the penetration of James forcing the defense to help. And Tyler Johnson knocking down the triple when the Cardinals really needed a basket. Carrington splits up and under. Oh, he's got the full range of game. And we talked to Kenny Payne about that. You, he wants his team to play solid defense, but you can't fall victim to stop and then the up and under. But Carrington is really crafty around the rim. James going one on three. 
behind Sky Clark with five on the shot clock. Clark, he drives and throws it up. And that will count. And those are the hustle plays. You see Glenn come up with look to be a, a, a desperation shot by Clark. But those are the things that change around. You see right now, Louisville is still within striking distance. They've got to get some stops and cut down those turnovers. First offensive rebound for Louisville. Henson at the other end. He jacks a three and misses. Can the Cardinals find some consistent offense? James for three. Oh, look at three ball side pocket. You get a stop, you get out in transition. We talk about going from one good shot to a better shot. And now what you have is that Louisville's been able to narrow that lead. And again, you get some rhythm together. We talk about Glenn and the fact that he starts this play by being able to get, you know, the offensive rebound. Again, watch Glenn come over here and gets the put back. That's one of the things to get a stop. But then what you do, you get a stop. And you come down, you force pass up a good shot for a wide open shot. James knocks it down. And now you look at this Louisville team has been able to go on an 8-0 run over the last minute and 35 seconds. Well, from Kenny Payne's standpoint, do you have a feeling that, okay, eventually Pitt is going to not be able to continue to shoot at this percentage? We just have to hang around. What, here's the thing is that when you've seen Louisville be able to get back into this game, it's their defense, it's them getting stops, it's being able to get into transition. We've talked about the fact that when you look at their offensive struggles at 72 points a game, it's the shooting 28% from, from behind the arc. They've done a better job in sustaining how hard they played in this first half. So an 8-0 run from the Cardinals. Austin inserted back into the game for Coach Capel. Hints it inside. There's Austin again. And all of a sudden, here comes Louisville. And Clark, an untimely turnover. And those are momentum pillars. You're on an 8-0 run. You can ill afford to have those unforced turns. Hints it always shot hunting. Austin thinks about it. Austin takes it. Austin misses. You wonder where Austin goes out. He's got that bandage on his hand. Missed his last two. Wondering if that's going to be an issue for him for the rest of the game. Now, Tyler Johnson has been Louisville's best player as of late. Huge height advantage for the Panthers. Here's one of the things you have to stay away from if you're Louisville. You cannot allow your offense to get stagnant. You want to be able to continue to shift this to pit defense because, again, they're going to do a good job with their length and being able to force you off the three-point line, and they're going to close those gaps. And Louisville forced to call a timeout, unable to inbound the basketball. And those are some of the frustrations you can see from Coach Payne. You know, the stories are well documented. Four and 28 last year. That is not Louisville basketball. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's the execution because sometimes you miss a, a pick. You don't get, allow guys to get over. You force to use a ton of, turn of, a timeout that you weren't planning on. Tuesday on Inside the NFL. Nobody breaks down the game like our crew with highlights and analysis you won't find anywhere else. This week, the guys take a look back at the last week of the regular season. Plus, they preview Super Wild Card Weekend. It's Inside the NFL Tuesday at 8, 7 Central only on the CW. And, of course, Pittsburgh fans, they've got a uh, pretty important game a little later this afternoon. The Steelers on the road at the arch rival Ravens. I'm surprised that you're not sitting here with your black and gold <laughs> underneath your, your shirt there. I understand that this is a huge game for them. And a huge game right here as well. Clark for three. And that, that's a shot by Scott Clark that maybe he makes, but I feel like for Louisville, that's not what's allowed you to be able to cut this lead. Shot quality and having offensive discipline is something that you have to be able to maintain. Hinson drives the lane and lays it off the glass. But here's the thing. We talked about Henson and his ability to get out of that slump. You don't settle. That last time, you have to honor the three-point shot. He goes hard to the basket, and he's having a good first half. Brian Louisville, two possessions with the lead at six, unable 
to continue the momentum. James for three. And that length of Pittsburgh starting to take its toll on the glass. And Sky Clark picks up the foul. He can't believe it. And when you watch this mid team play, Ryan, one of the things that, that impresses me is that they're going to play with pace and space. They're going to run when they can. They're going to spread you out. Then a lot of times you're looking at five out. The way they run the pick and roll, they're always diving a guy, forces the defense to converge, and that's how they end up getting these wide open threes. It's not that they're just jacking them up off a of pick and roll action. And Alexander Payne into the game for Louisville, number 23 in white. And it's an offensive foul. That last time, Federico getting a little too anxious. And then for me, coming off the screen, I always tell my big guys, stay put. Let me do the work to get myself wide open. Don't take a wide open shot away from me. Get a replay of it. And watch the play here. As you see Federico go down, Henson's coming off the pin down. And then that fact, right there, just the shift. Huh? Not sure if I, maybe that was low that, that was called for the offensive foul. Well, the Cardinals have been decimated by injury, forced to only seven scholarship players. Something to watch. And that is why Alexander Payne forced into action. And it's another turnover. And, and that's the play right there that really decimates this Louisville team is that those turnovers, you saw Johnson penetrate. You can't make that off-balance pass in traffic like that. You got to be more under control. Lowe getting his first start of the year for Pitt. And it's another offensive foul. This time it's Federico Federico that picks up the personal. So the game has slowed down just a bit. We're back on the CW. You don't have to wait until retirement to start enjoying your plans. With Pacific Life, imagine your future with confidence. For more than 150 years, we've kept our promise to financially protect and provide so you can look forward to exploring your family's heritage with the ones you love. Talk to a financial professional about life insurance and retirement solutions with Pacific Life. No application fee if you apply by February 12th at University of Maryland Global Campus, an accredited university that's transformed adult lives for 75 years. You're not waiting to win. You're ready to succeed again at umgc.edu. Is your car's plastic trim faded and milky? Don't worry. Cerakote's ceramic trim coat restores oxidized trim effortlessly. Just wipe it on. It's guaranteed for 200 washes. Even dust won't stick to it. Keep your car looking professional. Selling your oxidized faded trim car? Detailed cars sell for way more than faded cars. Read the thousands of five-star reviews for yourself. Buy any of Cerakote's number one selling ceramic products for under $20 at these leading retailers today. With all these hills and honors points, I could stay for free. Mm -hmm. At the Waldorf Astoria in the Maldives. What about the canopy in Paris? Mm -hmm. Hilton Honors, babe. When you want points that can take you anywhere, it matters where you stay. Hilton, for the stay. Welcome to the University of Pittsburgh. We're here in the Cathedral of Learning, which if you can imagine being here in the grand of the world. I'm a, I'm a time when I strive for the greatness, yeah. You can't stop me now. I just wanna make my We run it up, we can't lose you. I walk a mile in my shoes, yeah. There's nothing so that what do you I can't think? do, yeah. What do you think? Hell to pit? Hail the pit. Here, progress is always in progress. Proud member of the ACC. Tomorrow on CW Women's Hoops, it's off to Charlottesville as Duke looks to make their mark against Virginia. Duke versus Virginia. Tomorrow at noon, 9 a.m. Pacific only on the CW. Well, Brian, we talked about Louisville's injury issues down to seven scholarship players. That means head coach Kenny Payne uh, having to play his son, Alexander. Just they need the numbers. You look at what has happened to Louisville. 
Trey White, the team's second leading scorer, he's out today with a groin. J.J. Trainer out for the year. That was just announced today. Emmanuel Okafor out today with an ankle injury. And announced on Thursday is Dennis Evans is out for the year. Yeah, obviously, when we talked to Kenny Payne, he, he mentioned the fact that as, as sad as it is, is that it's the next man up. He's got to be able to have bodies. We talked about the fact that they're limited to seven scholarship players. The blow for not having J.J. Trainer was that they actually thought that he may be eligible for this game. And it's, it's a big blow for them with his length and his leadership. And James thinks about huge height disadvantage against Federico Austin, but he Mike. takes it to the glass. And how about Mike James. And how about Mike James with a little bit of bully ball, realizing that he just got to go and get it. And sometimes you want to just give a player the ball and tell him go get you a bucket. The sophomore out of Orlando, James, oh. taking it, and it's another offensive foul for the Panthers. And you got to be frustrated if you're just Jeff Capel because that's three possessions that you basically took yourself away, and it gives a momentum up back to Louisville because, again, with just a little bit over three minutes, gives them an opportunity to be able to cut into this lead only down six. And Pitt going zone for the first time with the Diaz Graham brothers both on the court at the same time. Johnson in the lane, James fires, and connects! Yeah, Mike James cannot miss! How about Johnson tiptoeing on the baseline right there? You see the Louisville faithful behind the team. Louisville's cut this lead down to three. The young center has come to life! Crowd on their feet. This is what they've been waiting for. Oh, and Diaz Graham gets knocked to the ground. He'll head to the line for three with the crowd on their feet. And right here's one of the things that you play solid defense for the majority of the shot clock. The last thing you want to do is bail out the and you see right there the close. Johnson comes over, challenges that shot. The last thing you want to do is he tucked him right there on the wrist. The crowd complains, but you watch all day. And then that other play, Johnson makes a big play, gets it over to Mike James and knock down that three. And a couple times now, the Panthers have been fouled shooting the three-point ball. As Jorge Diaz Grant heads to the free throw line, where he's a 71% free throw shooter. So, uh, Coach Capel electing to go with both Diaz Grand brothers. Both guys put on about uh, 15 to 20 pounds in the offseason. Uh, Jorge has been struggling with an ankle injury, but we've really seen the improvement massively uh, from Guillermo Diaz Grant. And Pitt much better from the charity stripe in this contest than they've been in this 0 for 3 ACC run. You see Pitt extending their defense. Hey, good trap right here. Now all that length. And Johnson nearly turns it over and then does. So these are the things that frustrate coaches. You see Johnson go down grabbing oh, his backside. No. Oh my goodness. All right, that's uh... and sometimes for young players, you get caught doing a little too much. And you see getting too caught up right there and it basically falls over Diaz Graham. And not many teams in the nation that can throw out a pair of seven footers that can both shoot it from behind the arc. No other team in the nation can send out a pair of twin brothers that are seven feet. <laughs> From the Canary Islands are the Diaz Grand Brothers via IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. Austin got off to the hot start up under a lot of English. And Huntley Hatfield able to secure the rebound. He's playing with two fouls. Johnson draws the foul. A little out of control. But here's the thing is that if you're Kenny Payne, you like the fact that he's pushing the pace and even a little out of control, what he's doing, he's creating offense. He's creating opportunities for his teammates. 
the line of number four, Tyler Johnson. He'll shoot the one and one. So it's a one and one for Tyler Johnson, 80% free throw shooter. The freshman for Brooklyn. And makes the first. Coming up on the Subaru Halftime Report, we'll get a preview of our next game on the CW, Wake Forest versus Miami. We'll look ahead at the ACC scoreboard, check out stats and highlights from the first half as Johnson knocks down a pair as Sky Clark is back into the game for the Cardinal. Louisville's done a good job of being able to sustain the pit run early because it looked like the way Pitt was shooting this ball, they were going to run away with it. They've cut this lead down to four with just a little bit over, the, over one minute. And something to look for, Brian, Sky Clark, the leading scorer, Oh, Lowe buries another triple. That's a dagger. Yeah. Clark's yet to score. Yeah, and that is true because, again, I think that Tyler Johnson is coming and giving them the spark. Did you see Pitt fall out into what it looks to be a 3-2? Imagine oh, having man. a seven-footer at the at the hill at the head of that. Now Pitt's sixth three-pointer of the first half. Under a minute to play. Lead is seven. It's another turnover. Low behind the back to Diaz Graham, and he'll head to the free throw line. And those are the turnovers that kill our momentum killers. You're playing a zone, and then you turn it over, and you give Pitt an opportunity to get out in transition. The 11th turnover, Brian. And, and that's what, if you're Kenny Payne, you have to like the fact that you've been able to do some good things half court. But it's the 11 turnovers that are taking opportunities away from you. It look like the refs are going to look at shot clock and maybe the, that last foul. And Pitt already with 11 points off of Louisville turnovers. And the Cardinals have on several occasions fought back to make it a one or two possession game only to have a, a costly turnover. Well, here's the thing is that Pitt has kind of changed up their looks from offense to get I me mean, from off from zone to man. And you see, I think they're going to go ahead and play on. Louisville's got to continue to be patient with their offense and continue to move that zone because you don't want to get stagnant. And you want to get into those gaps. And now it is Diaz Graham back to the free throw line as a clock malfunction was the reason for the pause in play. There's uh, 40 seconds left in the first half. And Coach Payne talked about finishing halves and then getting off to good starts in the second half. And currently a seven point game. Uh, you know, what would you like to see Louisville with that last 40 seconds do with the basketball? Well, I think they've done a good job of being able to at attack the gaps, be it a man or a zone. And obviously, we, you take away those those turnovers. I think that the energy and the urgency that they play with has shown that they've been able to stay and hang around. But this last 40 seconds, you got to get a good play and make sure that you're getting an uncontested penetration for a wide open and shot or touch the paint. Jeffers. Well, Jorge diaz Graham looks very, very comfortable at the free throw line. And Pitt, which has really struggled from the charity stripe the entire season, is now 8 for 8 in the first half. About a 9-second disparity, game clock, shot clock. Here's what you don't want to do. You want to, you don't want to go east and west. You want to attack the gaps, force the help, try to get inside and force them to converge. Now the length of this zone is really causing Louisville problems. Clark tries to create three on the shot clock. Williams fires and connects. Sometimes you just got to be. It's better to be lucky than good. And you see that last time Williams knocking down that three. Carrington with three, with two, with one. Oh, no good, and Louisville will head to the break with the Panthers leading 40 to 34, a wild first half of action to start the second half. Normally, I come out and I watch guys to see if they have a little bit of a lather, because if you take time to have to warm back up to the second half, that allows me to be able to go at you, and those little spurs of four minutes can turn the game in your favor. Well, pick up. 
comes out and the throwdown. Austin picks up in the second half where he started the first half. But Ryan, you always hear me talk about how you move the defense. That last time, Carrington moved the defense, got it over to Diaz, Graham, and then you saw Henson on that back cut, and then basically he took advantage of the shift and no weak side help. Louisville has really struggled ending halves and starting halves. Let's put a circle around. Can they stay in this game first five minutes? And a traveling violation from James. I, I, again, when you watch Pitt and how they opened up this second, this play right here, is that, watch Carradine, he drags two guys. That gives Diaz Graham wide open, and then you get Hempson, and it's basically taking advantage because you've already got two guys occupied. Great play by Pitt to open up the second half. 12 turnovers now for Louisville, and once again inside, and it's an and one. Diaz Graham, the seven-footer. Well, you go back and you ask me about how you open up the half. What you see right now is that Pitt has come out with an opportunity to go on an immediate 5-0 run. And watch this last penetration. You see Lowe get it over, backside to Henson. Henson realized he's got Diaz Graham right there for the possible and one. And it's these 5-0 these runs here and there that are basically momentum starters because you thought Louisville closed the first half with momentum. Now you have Pitt opening the second with their momentum shift. And the Cardinals fought so hard to get it to six. And then Pitt opens the second half on a 5-0 run. Do the Cardinals have an answer? And it's a ticky-tack on Diaz Graham, reaching in on Huntley Hatfield. And if you're Louisville, what you want to do is that easier, even as Pitt shifts their defense from man to zone, you don't settle. You want to make sure that you're making crisp passes. You don't want to go for home run hitters. Run your offense. Attack the gaps. Get the un uncontested shots. And continue to make this tip, uh, Pitt team uh, work on defense. Johnson into the lane. And off the glass, it is Huntley Hatfield missing a layup. But even if Huntley Hatfield misses that shot, it was a good quality shot. You saw Johnson be able to draw two guys, the dump off. Those shots will eventually go. Sky Clark, the leading scorer for Louisville, is scoreless. A goose egg for 55 in white. Johnson to inbound. James baseline. He had the big first half. Misses there. Good challenge by Hanson right there. Staying vertical. Now Hanson thought about it. Austin off to the quick start again. This is Hanson for the three ball. And Johnson in the open court for Louisville. Caleb Glenn into the game early for the Cardinals jump hook and good. Hey, nice move by Glenn because he realized that Henson was not going to fight that much, bodied him a little bit, and get a nice little jump hook over the left shoulder. Again, Louisville does a better job when he can get stops and get into their open offense. Clark and Low. Low always under control. Oh, nice. A lot to like about his game. The you, you see Jalen Low with a little bit of a chicken wing right there. Got to his spot, got some separation with a little, with a little fade there. Love his game because he's not been sped up and he's allowed the game to come to him. From Missouri City, Texas, uh, Jeff Capel knew of him as a about a seven or eight year old is when he started to, to hear the stories about Mr. Low. No foul as Johnson draws a lot of contact. And Pitt up 11 looking for their biggest lead of the game. No good. Can Sky Clark get going with something? And maybe a free throw will do just that, Brian. And that's the guy that I think for Louisville has got to get going because, again, they need Sky Clark and his ability to score points. And, again, Louisville has shown that when they can get stops and get out of the open floor, they're a dangerous team. And you see Sky Clark gets there, puts the pressure on the defense, and draws the card, draws the, the, the foul. And you can see his season breakdown and obviously this is 
as poorly as he has scored the basketball all season. That is his first point of the game. And Coach Capel, he found something in that first half with the Diaz Grand Brothers. Incredible length against a very small Louisville team. Especially when you go to change up your defenders from the zone uh, to the man. There's nothing more than length because, again, you put both of the Diaz brothers out there. That's hard to overcome because they're in passing lanes as well. And Louisville, the much smaller team, applying some pressure. Carrington really the only ball hander, handler on the court for Pitt. So a true contrast of styles right now. Louisville, small and quick. Pitt, incredible length. Diaz Graham. Oh, the big fella front ends it. Smallest player on the court grabs the rebound. But how about Henson? Calls a timeout. That's hustle. How about the play the 50-50 ball? You see Henson get on the floor right there. Again, turnover by Louisville. Louisville faithful letting him here. We got a good one. KP is asking what's going on. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis takes you off course, put it in check with Ren Check. When UC tried to slow me down, I got lasting steroid-free remission with Rinvoke. Check. And when UC caused damage, Rinvoke came through by visibly repairing my colon lining. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid-free remission. And a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how Abby. Dad, you okay? It's our phone bill. We pay for things that we don't need. Loaded bundles, the reckless spending. No more. That's a bit dramatic. A better plan is Verizon. It starts at $25 a line. Did you say $25 a line? And save big on things we love, like Netflix and Max. Oh, that's awesome. Spaghetti night, dinner in 30. Oh, happy day. A better plan to save is Verizon. It starts at $25 per line guaranteed for three years. And get both Netflix and Max for just $10 per month, only on Courtside Saturday here on the CW. Uh, freshman Tyler Johnson. He's done a lot good today, but four costly turnovers. Is he trying to do too much, Brian? Well, and here's the thing is that you found out multiple times that with his energy and how he's pushing, does a little too much trying to go too, or too fast. So you take a look. He's got those seven points and five rebounds, but the four costly uh, turnovers and turnovers have been the story for Louisville as a team just five assists but 14 turnovers and every time the Cardinals seem to get something going they promptly turn it over uh, Pitt basketball with a nine point lead Carrington thinks about three Diaz Graham wants three Austin inside and he picks up the foul is Caleb Glenn. And just a massive height advantage for the Panthers, who are already a great offensive rebounding team. And that is the third personal on Caleb Glenn. Louisville just seven scholarship players, four players out today to injury as Austin makes the first. Coming up next, we head to Winston-Salem for a pivotal conference matchup as the Hurricanes face the Demon Deacons. It's Miami and Wake Forest. It's next only on the CW.
Pitt has yet to miss a free throw. What has been an absolute bugaboo for the Panthers this year suddenly becoming a strength. Yeah, this is a team that has up until now shot 66% from behind, from at the free throw line, but done a better job. And here is the zone again, Brian, with the seven-footer out in front. It gave Louisville a lot of problems in the first half. But that's the way they're going to see getting get the ball right inside. And I love the fact of that for Louisville, penetrate that zone. you be able to get some good things whenever you do that. And you don't settle. The threes will eventually come. And now it is Louisville showing zone. And Sky Clark just picked up his third personal. So here we go. It's a nine-point game at the Yum Center. On the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. Depend keeps you drier than ever. So you can say yes to more than ever. Yes! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Depend. The only thing stronger than us is you. When moderate to severe ulcerative colitis takes you off course, put it in check with Rinvoke, a once daily pill. When I wanted to see results fast, Rinvoke delivered rapid symptom relief and helped leave bathroom urgency behind. Check. When UC tried to slow me down, I got lasting steroid free remission with Rinvoke. Check. And when UC caused damage, Rinvoke came through by visibly repairing my colon lining. Check. Rapid symptom relief, lasting steroid free remission. And a chance to visibly repair the colon lining. Check, check, and check. Rinvoke can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB, serious infections and blood clots, some fatal, cancers, including lymphoma and skin cancer, death, heart attack, stroke, and tears in the stomach or intestines occurred. People 50 and older with at least one heart disease risk factor have higher risks. Don't take if allergic to Rinvoke, as serious reactions can occur. Tell your doctor if you are or may become pregnant. Put UC in check and keep it there with Rinvoke. Ask your gastroenterologist about Rinvoke and learn how Abby can help you. Catch the biggest stars of television and film at the 29th Annual Critics' Choice Awards hosted by Chelsea Handler live on Sunday, January 14th, 7 to 9 East, 4 to 7 Pacific only on The CW. Well, Critics' Choice Awards in this game right now. Sky Clark, leading scorer for Louisville, just two points. And how about the uh, chess match we're seeing here from the Panthers? electing to play both Diaz grand brothers and really providing Pitt a huge height advantage. Well, I think what it's done, again, is that it's given them the actual length, especially on the defensive side of it, as far as being able to have length. And it's been a little bit of a, a challenge for, for Louisville as they mix up their defense. And now it's the Cardinals playing some matchup zone. Carrington really the only ball handler on the court for Pitt. Five on the shot clock. Touch pass. Diaz Graham. Oh, book it. The sweet stroke of Jorge Diaz Graham from distance. How about from whence win to the other? Again, best way to attack a zone. Get it inside out. And the lead balloons to 12. That matches the largest lead of the game. Is this a danger zone for Louisville? Absolutely. And I think for Louisville, you can't stay out on the perimeter. You got to get that ball inside. Huntley Hatfield discards Diaz Graham and Hillhead to the free throw line. Again, we talk about the Twin Towers and the fact that how they've been able to play off each other and you see get the ball inside from one twin to the other. It's so nothing but string action. And again, the best way to do is it force that defense to come in a little touch pass, thread the needle, knock it down. Yeah, the Wonder Twins activate a little three-point shooting ah, there. I love it. Love it. 
Brandon Huntley Hatfield, he hasn't done much today, and he bricks the first. He is a 75% free throw shooter. Lead is 12. Talked about that first five minutes of the second half. Pitt doubled their lead in that first five minutes. And, and when you look at it right now, with Pitt being up now 11 for Louisville, you've got to get stops. I felt like in the first half when they were able to go on their runs, got some stops, got into transition, and that's where you're going to be able to cut down this lead. Uh, the Diaz Graham brothers from the Canary Islands, they are such a difficult matchup as they can both really shoot from behind the arc. Caleb Glenn providing massive spark off the bench. Williams, Austin skies high for the rebound. And, and I don't, I, again, if you're Kenny Payne, that's not the shot that you want right now because, again, this Louisville team is last in the conference in three-point three field goal percentage. Run your offense, attack the paint. Man to man again. Henson thinks about it, drives, blocks the shot. He wants a foul, no call. James in the open court. Can Sky Clark get underway? Sky with two Ys nearly turns it over. And there is a Louisville turnover, their 15th of hey, the Ron, game. Huntley Hatfield's got to be a little bit more patient. He's expecting that double team to come, but he's got to allow his players to get a position. He can't come off that ball too soon as resulting in the turnover. Lead is 11. Pitt, can they deliver a knockout punch? Henson, in and out. And this would be Glenn's fourth if they got him. Fouls on the cards, number 10, Glenn, that's his second, 14 foul. Now that is hit Glenn's second personal foul. His career high in points coming into the game was five. He has eight today, so could ill afford to lose him. He's been a real bright spot. And you see Caleb Glenn down there trying to, he's undersized when it comes up to Diaz Graham fighting down there, but then he's given Kenny Payne some positive minutes so far in this game. Pitt does lead the ACC in rebounding and rebounding margin, and Henson will head to the free throw line for three foul shots. And these are the things when you talk about the frustration start to build up for, for Kenny Payne, is that you watch right at Mike James on the replay. Chase around Henson, and right there, all day, every day, that's a foul. The Louisville fans are upset with that, but when you watch the replay, the last thing you want to do is for a guy that you've been able to contain for most of the game, give him an opportunity to go to the free throw line. And this is the third time a Panther has headed to the line for three free throws, and Pitt has not missed from the free throw line. Oh, well, here's the thing, Ryan, is that in the second half, you've been able to keep Henson relatively quiet. The last thing you want to do is give him an opportunity to get to the line, get some to go, and get him in a nice little rhythm. And 13, it is now the largest lead of the game for Pitt. It was trimmed to six at the half. In under seven minutes, that six-point lead has ballooned to 14. Louis Rose has got to find some offense again. Clark into the lane, finds James, and he continues to be red hot. But see, there was a penetration by Scott Clark that forced the help and allowed him to get the ball and find Mike James wide open. That's the success for Louisville. It's penetrate, force to converge, and then kick out. Does Louisville have another run? Seven scholarship players. Carrington up under, back rims it. Federico, the offensive rebound. The length from the Panthers taking control, but it's a turnover. Nice play by Scott Clark. He could Run have forced offense. it, right? He could have. James, another three. And another bucket! But you see the difference that last time? Huntley Hatfield waited for the double team to come out, realized where it was coming back out, and you got Mike Clark with two consecutive threes. And here comes Louisville one more time. Crowd into it. Carrington, mid-range. 
Oh, he is so good. And that's a momentum, that's a momentum killer right there. Carrington understands, gets to his spot. We talk about his 6'5, having enough length to be able to shoot over bigger defenders. James again. Oh, okay. he cannot miss. Okay, now. He cannot so, okay, Mike miss James is in the house. Mike James is like, come on, I'm feeling it, baby. An absolute flame thrower from behind the arc, single-handedly keeping Louisville in the game. Mike James, a one-man show. Oh, and Louisville. Takes another dagger to the heart. Zach Austin, another triple. We got a lot of back and forth. It seemed like we got a three ball pattern. You see Mike James saying, that's a one time three. Then you know what? Kick it out, look for me again. And he said, you know what? Ride my back. I am feeling it. Mike James is in the house. Next. At home. It's a high octane showdown at Winston Salem. Outlet for Wooga, look out! When Wooga Poplar in Miami battle Hunter Salas and Wake Forest. Nothing but the bottom of the net. CW Courtside Saturday, Miami, Wake Forest. Coming up next. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Jacob, the type of child that was not outspoken at all. Before in CPK, he was shut down. His teacher helped him a lot. Now he's raising his hand, answering questions. When people think about schools, they tend to think about just the teachers. We have so many people behind the scenes to make the school safe, to make our students happy and healthy. I'm happy that the North Carolina Education Lottery funds to help pay for our support staff. My child can go to a awesome program for free, and that's a big relief. Hardy's two for five dollar breakfast bake goodness into your morning. Choose a biscuit with sausage and egg, biscuit and gravy, or a country fried steak biscuit. Any two, just five dollars. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. On the next late lead with Natalie and Jonathan Stewart. Come with us to Richard's Coffee Shop. A special place for veterans of many generations. They come from all different walks of life, all different branches of the military. They all have a different story, yet something brings them together. We'll show you around, hear from a 100-year-old veteran. And watch Jonathan get a huge surprise. Lately, with Natalie and Jonathan Stewart. Tonight at 7 on WCCB, Charlotte CW. Welcome back, Courtside Saturday here on the CW, the Yum Center coming to life as Mike James single-handedly keeping Louisville in this game. But I'll tell you, for every Louisville run in this second half, Pitt has had an answer. And I'll tell you, Zach Austin, 17 points. Remember, he was scoreless against North Carolina, but the story for the Cardinals is Mike James. Well, for Kenny Payne and his Louisville team, you know, they've been able to try to find ways to get back into this game. And Mike James has come in and has been lights out from behind the arc. Five for six, 21 points. Very good for a Louisville team that normally only shoots 28% from behind the arc. Does he force it a bit? And he draws a foul on Austin. Right. You, you've seen some of the things as Louisville's tried to get back into this, thing, this game. Their ability to be able to touch the paint is forcing Pitt with their length to have to converge. They're getting uncontested shots. And if I'm Kenny Payne, I tell them to be patient, get those gaps, shift the defense, and get to your second and third options, and don't always take the first shot that comes to you. Sky Clark, 0 for 4 from the field. He's Louisville's leading scorer. Great inbounds pass from Johnson. Huntley Hatfield loses it. Plenty of time on the shot clock. There's Clark. And still now 0 for 5 from the field. You talked about Pitt and the fact that regardless of what Louisville does, is able to continue to keep their lead. If you're Pitt, run your ball actions. Run guys off the of screens, hit the gaps, pass up those shots, and touch the paint. Carrington. Under
under 10 on the shot clock. Clark took one to the face, no call, and Carrington will head to the charity strike. Fouls on the cards, number one, Curtis Williams is second. Oh, listen, every great shooter, every great scorer, you were one of them, goes through a game like this, but Clark, the body language, 0 for 5 from the field. Can he still help his team without scoring? Well, here's the thing. He can't allow his offense to dictate his defense. He still he needs to stay. You're still within range here. You're talking about that this team is only down 11, and you've been able to go on runs. He still has to stay engaged and then take advantage of the opportunities when they come to him. A reminder, Duke, Virginia, CW women's hoops tomorrow right here on the CW. So the lead is back to 12. The Pitt Panthers, their Achilles heel in ACC action has been free throw shooting. They are a perfect 15 of 15. Louisville can't seem to catch a break. Clark driving, creating. Williams in and out, no good. Hit in transition, Austin. Federico, Federico into the lineup. Henson fires and mm. connects. Is that the dagger as Pitt goes back up 15? Good ball movement, no hesitation by Blake Henson. Again, talk about the guy that's found his rhythm. Pitt right now on an 8-0 run. Timeout, Cardinals. Now Pitt has had the answer from behind the arc. Coach Jeff Capel in his sixth season at the helm of the Panthers had won three straight against Louisville. In this mini uh, tailspin for Pitt, Blake Hinson has been unable to get it going. He has it going today, and I'll tell you, those chips to the free throw line have really been a, a big factor. And we talked about how do you get off the struggle bus, and I thought that he's done a good job of being able to mix it up with some threes and get to the line and get to the bucket. And then for shooters, you have to find a way to get the ball in. And it takes off the pressure because if all you're doing is shooting threes, puts too much pressure on it. But I think that for Louisville, again, they have still shown that they've had runs, but this pit team has been on all cylinders. Jeff Capable has to be happy, happy with how they've been able to offset these Louisville runs. Well, the story is for Louisville. They've been well documented. Uh, Kenny Payne in his second season, back at the helm of his alma mater, four and 28 last season for Louisville, and a turnover out of the timeout. And again, we talked about that active hands for Pitt. Well, Louisville, it is a fan base here, Brian, that uh, they expect Elite Eights and Final Fours, not eight wins. One of the proudest basketball tradition schools in America. the vision and communication for Carrington and, and, and Federico. Federico right there behind the defense. Louisville got caught slipping. And the lead is now 17. Pitt feeling it. Louisville searching for answers. Johnson back rims it. James the offensive rebound. Clark for three. Finally sees it go through. And that may be one of the things to get Sky Clark going. Again, interested to see if Louisville's got another run in them. They'll have to do it with defense. Pitt shooting an incredible rate here in the second half. Henson. Oh, oh wow. the big guy continues. You can tell. Big fella's feeling it right now. There was no hesitation in that. That doesn't look like a guy that's been struggling putting the ball in the hoop. Henson really struggled a week ago against Syracuse and, and watch watch Blake Henson as soon as he gets it, he understands all he needs is just a little time and for a guy like that you got it you can't allow him to catch that ball in his shooting pocket Henson right now you can tell him he's in a nice little groove a great pass inside oh, good back Sky Clark 
That's five straight for the Cardinals' leading scorer. Good pass over by Tyler Johnson. To is it Scott too Clark. little, too late, Brian? Well, here's the thing is that for Louisville, you've got to get Pitt out of their comfort zone. They're running their offense. They're shifting you. They're getting their looks. You've got to be able to blow up some of these actions and not allow them to get where they want to go. Henson drives, draws up under. And Louisville the other way. James. And he had made three straight. That was a bit of a heat check. And here's the thing is that for Mike James, I know you've hit three, three, but I would have loved to see him put his head down and get to the basket. And that's one of the things that Louisville tends to fall in love with the three, especially in transition. Federico inside. Gigantic height advantage. And James scrapping to the bottom. They're going to jump it up. It will be Louisville basketball. Mike James, great hustle. Yeah, great rotation over there. Those are the 50-50 balls that you want. Tied up right now. Louisville still trying to climb in, but it seems right now too much pit. Nelson. Are your headlights cloudy and oxidized, making your car look bad? Are they underperforming when you need them most? Cerakote's Headlight Restoration Kit restores weathered headlights back to like new and keeps them that way for life. Stop wasting your time with solutions that don't last. Cerakote's kit includes everything you need to go from this to this. Simply wipe away oxidation, give them a light sanding, and apply the ceramic coating. That's it. The true ceramic technology does the rest. Buy any of Cerakote's number one selling ceramic products for under $20 at these leading retailers today. Net credit is here to say yes, even when other lenders won't. Apply online in minutes and get funds deposited the next business day or sooner. Net credit, credit to the people. Some people just know that the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on Paul. You don't want to ride with Paul or Sarah. Not today anyway. And you don't want to rate based on Ben. He's got some important business to take care of. Why would you pay a rate based on anyone else? With Allstate, you're connected to a rate based on you. Marcus is a connoisseur of anything that's free. So he was happy to read the disclaimer on TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. That's me! File your taxes 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition and get your max refund guaranteed. Make your moves count. See if you qualify at TurboTax.com. Oh, I'll have another. Make it a double. Dad, Mom thinks she's at a resort again. Yeah, she told me. When you'd rather not resort to a virtual resort. This is much better in real life. It matters where you stay. Looking good, babe! Hilton for the stay. Welcome back to the CW. Let's take a look at our key play brought to you by Hilton. Hilton for the stay. And how about Diaz Graham to Diaz Graham? You always say it, the twins always stay in sync. How about the little tip pass from one Diaz to the other? And again, anytime you get the Diaz Graham brothers on the floor, it seems like it's turned to positive. Results for Jeff for Jeff Capel and the Pitt Panther team today. Well, from the Canary Islands, uh, the brothers have come a long way to the Steel City, and they have provided Pitt a lot of really good minutes today. The Panthers now by 15 in search of their first win in ACC action. Clark gliding to the bucket. Great pass. James up and under but misses. Fights for the rebound. He'll pick up the foul. But you have to love the action, especially coming out of the timeout. The penetration by Scott Clark to get Mike James an opportunity to finish. Just couldn't finish around the rim. And not yet in the one and one. So Louisville will inbound underneath their own basket. Clark does look to have a little uh, jump in his step with five straight points for Louisville. A transfer from Illinois. Drives here. Good defense from Jeffress. Johnson now. Step back. And short-armed it. 
So here's the thing is that for Louisville, you can't get into spurts where it's just one on one. Any of those opportunities that shot by Tyler Johnson was a little one on one. You got to be able to get your opportunities by picking apart the pit defense because they're just too good. Federico, great pass inside, oh, but block. better block. Oh, where my. did Clark come from? Oh, my. Clark Kent was that Superman. And the pass. James thinks about it. Now Williams. And he'll head to the free throw line as Federico Federico picks up the personal. We talk about again for this Louisville team as you know, Kenny Payne wants to see the effort and the urgency, but right now down 15, you've seen them still fight. And that's one of the things that's escaped them earlier in the season is having these droughts. But again, great penetration at last opportunity reading goes to the line. So Federico Federico 33 in blue. And they liked the name so much they named him twice. The story behind that, in the Sudan, you name your first son after your last name, thus the name Federico Federico, the same first name as the last name. So if wondering at home why it's Federico Federico. I just love Federico Federico. Name so nice, you got to say it twice. That's right. <laughs> and lead is 14. Talked about a desperate two teams in this contest, and Mike James just continues to bat, fight, and claw. And if Louisville is looking for a symbol of how to come back from these epically dark days, the fight that Mike James is showing. And, and that's exactly what they've done in the second half. You see Mike James, they're extending their pressure. They're fighting, trying to go after balls, trying to get the tie-ups, and that's the thing is that you can't allow Pitt to run an offense. It's a good pass by Carrington. And how about the block by Huntley Hatfield? Well, for all the detractors of Kenny Payne, no one can say this team has ever given up. Well, and you see Huntley Hatfield over here goes up for that block, and that's what this Louisville team has done. They've gotten a lot of backlash in the past for not competing for a full 40 minutes. You see Mike James get tied up. That's a vet move by Blake Henson using James's aggression against him. And some frustration starting to really come out of these Louisville fans, starting to come out of Kenny Payne. You know that every player, every fan associated with Louisville they cannot believe that this is their team with this record. Well, and, and here's the thing is that there's a transition. Obviously, they've had some injuries. You've got a very young ball club. And so the transition with young players and trying to get the right players to, to mesh, um, and that's been something that's been much of a hurdle. And I think that what's really hurt is the non-conference losses early in the season. And Pitt has still yet to miss a foul shot. I mean, and here's the thing is that for Louisville, there are obviously still opportunities to come back and win this game. But you look at how this team has been able to compete for the first and second half. Still got an opportunity here, but you have to be happy with how they've been able to play hard. Johnson. And Johnson continues to fire away. The lead is 16. Henson piling up the points. And, and here's the thing for Pitt. The clock is your friend. You're, you're up 16. You want to run your run the clock. You don't want to be forced into quick shots. Carrington. That's oh. a dagger. That's a dagger. You run clock and you're able to get a, a contested three right now to extend this lead up to 19 points. And there are a lot of rumblings that Bob Carrington could actually be a one-and-done kind of player and take his talents to the next level as soon as next year. Williams answers with a three of his own. Good penetration and kick over to Williams. You see Louisville extending their pressure. And Carrington, the thing you got to like about him, he, he always in control. Well, here's the thing is that when you look at his size at the point, uh, does a good job of using his length, rarely gets sped up, has a good balance and court vision to understand when to run plays and when to go hunt his offense. Double team, Jeffress. 
waiting for the call. And it's an offensive foul. Yeah, good recovery by Sky Clark being noted to step. And, you know, and, and watch the rotation of Sky Clark. You see Jeffers comes there, make sure he's outside the restricted area. Absorbs the contact right between the numbers. Louisville still in this game. Plenty of time. Cannot afford many more missed opportunities. Jeffress hounding Clark out front. Williams. And it's another Louisville turnover. I felt Will Williams miss Huntley Hatfield. He had Diaz go, uh, Graham right on his backside. Pass at the last minute when he wasn't ready. 17 turnovers for the Cardinals. Diaz Graham! Oh! oh, 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 oh with the rim! Oh, oh, sandwich oh, your chest! Oh, man! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> Diaz Graham! Oh, the tomahawk! And Clark will head to the free throw line. What did we just witness? Yeah, Diaz Graham saying, you know what, my goodness, you know what, we go ahead and see if anybody invites someone to my poster. Again, Diaz Graham coming in to your living room. Pitt going big with it with Diaz Graham. When you're great, your game does the talk. In the ACC, our speaks volumes. Three of the last eight NCAA championships. 99 NCAA tournament wins since 2015. Eight NCAA titles in the last 22 years. Six of the top 30 winningest programs in Division I, most of any kind. It's not bragging if it's true. Greatness is what we do. The ACC accomplished greatness. This Friday, hold my jackraps. 100% all white meat grilled or crispy chicken with lettuce, cheese, and sauces, and a warm tortilla for $3.29. And they're under 400 calories. So if your goal this year was to save money and eat healthy ish, we got you. Hey, you better call 911. Hey, you took a big fall. We're going to get you help. Let me get the boss over here. And we need the boss now. Get him here. It's okay. Around the back, all the way around the back. All the way around the back. Give me help right now. If you've been hurt at work, don't wait until you've been denied workers' comp benefits to get a lawyer. Call DeMayo Offices. We'll help get the benefits you need and deserve. This is how it feels to live purposefully, to live gracefully. When you have a health partner who doesn't just treat part of you, they care for all of you. That's why more people prefer Atrium Health, because unrivaled care is easier, more accessible, and more complete than ever before. Because the only way to be your best self is with your best health. That's what it means to live meaningfully, to live joyfully, to live fully. My Double Bonus Jack combo gives you double the seasoned beef, double the cheese for $5.99. Let's see that again. Double beef, double cheese for, yeah, $5.99. Huh, good deal. Now let's take a look at our Pacific Life game summary presented by Pacific Life, creating financial security for more than 150 years. And certainly for the Panthers, and getting on track, Blake Henson was a huge key. And it was big for Blake uh, Henson to get off that struggle bus. Thought he came in and did a good job of being able to find his offense. And again, we know that this is a volume three-point shooter, was able to get going. But then, you know, earlier on for Louisville, it was Mike James. I thought when they were able to get going and come back into this lead, hot shooting from behind the arc. You see 21 points today, five for seven from behind the arc. And when Louisville's been able to climb back in, it's been the play of Mike James and his all offensive outburst today. 18-point lead, three minutes, 40 seconds remain here. And Kenny Payne talked about trying to bring Louisville back brick by brick. He is elected to go young in the transfer portal. Uh, certainly coming off of last year's 4-28 and 28 record. Patience is, is something that fans don't have a lot of. So here's what I'm going to tell you is that this, this Pitt team is a good team when they're they cooking on all cylinders because if you look at that game, you know, against Clemson, against Carolina, and against Syracuse, 
Those are all games that they should have won. And then when you look at it playing in the ACC, good point guard play and having a guy that can go get you a buck is essential. They have that. For this Louisville team, the brick by brick is competing for a full 40 minutes. That's something that you've seen that they didn't have earlier on in the season. Well, Huntley Hatfield trying to cover Bob Carrington is a mismatch that Louisville will have to try to live with here. Diaz Graham, back rims in, another rebound for Mike James. Johnson in the open court, slides it under, and Sky Clark getting underway, and a quick timeout as we have an injury at the other end, and that does appear to be the star freshman, Bob Carrington. Now, Bob driving to the lane for Pitt. Diaz Graham received the pass, and it was Louisville going the other way as Carrington. Let's take a look. You can see the penetration above Carrington. Seemed like he just got sandwiched in between Huntley Hadfield and, and Payne. From his reaction, it may have been a blow to the head. As he is once again stuffing the stat sheet is Bob Carrington, but our Take a look at our player of the game brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, and motorcycle insurance. Visit Progressive.com. And when Pitt needed a spark early on, Zach Austin provided. Well, I thought that he started the game with that energy and being able to give them uh, points around the basket and the three-point. It was that first half that I thought they really started out for them. You would see that throughout the entire game, Zach Alston and his energy, this is the guy that shoots the ball well and goes up high on the pogo stick. It's been huge because, again, they did not have Ishmael Leggett today and missed that 12 points, and I thought that Austin did a good job of filling in and taking up the pace. That's his first team. Coach Payne once again down to seven scholarship athletes playing his son Alexander Payne. Limited minutes, but it just gives you an idea of, of how much this Louisville program has had to endure with the injury bug this year. Two players that they really were counting on this year out for the entire season, and we're in the first Saturday of January. And these are guys that you expect to have heavy rotational minutes. And again, when you look at the forecast of what you do, what you're using, and what you need, not having access, and then you're getting down to only seven players, especially in an ACC that's much better than it has been the previous years. And Pitt has missed a free throw, 19 of 20. One week ago at Syracuse, Pitt was 11 of 24 from the foul line. 11 of 24 one week ago, and today they are 19 of 20. I believe it's the same 15-foot shot. <laughs> <laughs> but but, I, but it shows that when you get in the gym and you work on things that how that could be an asset because again when you look at the pit team and how many games they've lost and not shooting the free throws always pays a factor a lot of fouls here late There's still two minutes 41 seconds to go as we've just crossed over the a two o'clock mark, two hours in this game. A reminder coming up next year on the CW, a good one. Miami and Wake Forest as soon as we're done here at the Yum Center. Hey, now Mike James, he is stuck around here and seems to be in it to the end to bring Louisville back to national and ACC prominence. And good to see Bob Carrington immediately back in the game for Pitt. That's a, uh, a wonderful sign for the Panthers. And if you're Louisville, you continue to play solid defense. You got to extend. You can't allow Pitt to continue to run the clock off, time off the clock. And Diaz Graham. And it is a blocking call on Alexander Payne. Foul number 23, Zan Payne, that's his second, 19th foul. 
And Pitt will head to the free throw line for their 21st and 22nd free throw. One and one. One and one. But boy, they uh, they let one slip away a week ago at Syracuse, missing those 13 foul shots in what turned out to be an eight point game. And it is another Cardinal turnover. And as good as Tyler Johnson will be, he's got to get those turnovers under control. And, and that's one of the things. He's done a lot of positive things. But when you're playing the point guard position, you have to be careful and mindful and protect the basketball. Austin thinks about it, takes it, makes it. Yeah, only fitting that Austin has been that guy that has stepped up for Pitt today. Our player of the game continues to just absolutely shoot the rock. There's Glenn inside. Uh, 90 seconds to go. What did you see from Louisville that makes you believe that Kenny Payne can turn this around? Well, and they showed that the, the, the playing hard and consistent. I saw some uh, good things in getting stopped. They've got athletes and shot makers that you can get out in transition. Um, I think that they have to continue to cut the, tr uh, the turnovers down. And then obviously the interior presence. I thought they did a better job of being able to get stops and then finish at the rim. And Henson. And that will allow Louisville to get some walk-ons into action. And remember, just seven scholarship players for a team that's obviously struggling with morale, struggling with turning things around, and then to be hit this hard by the injury bug. Well, I think one of the things is a testament to the players that they continue to play hard because, again, with all the chatter that's going around Louisville basketball and then how unfortunate with the injuries, this team came out and played hard from beginning to end. Ball's fumbled around and low. Will he keep it out front? As far as the Panthers go, uh, coulda, shoulda, woulda. It's not hard to see the Panthers going to 4 0 in the ACC and probably ranked inside the top 20 in the country if a few bounces went their way in their first three contests. Well, I thought when we talked with Jeff Cape, we talked about the fact that getting their swag back because this is a team that came out, was able to do a lot of good things, and, and they've got the pieces. You've got great uh, point guard play in Carrington. You see Percy Miller knock down that shot. You've got shot makers. And you've got the length down, though, to compete and be one of those teams. And this will do it. Carrington will likely just dribble out the clock. So Pittsburgh will get its first win in ACC play. The Panthers will improve to 10-5, and 1-3 and three in conference play. And Pitt was uh, content to run things out, but the officials say you can't move the pivot foot just yet. <laughs> and that will do it. It will go down as a 13-point win for Pittsburgh. And